Hi, my name's Ashby. I hope you're well and safe wherever you are. Recently I've had a number of messages asking how I created my virtual orchestra, so I thought I'd put together a video showing you how to make your own. So this is a video I made for my woodwind quintet, the Albert Quintet. Um, so I'm going to show you how to make your virtual orchestra by showing you how I created this video here. So to start off, I did an arrangement for this video um, and to make the click track, which is what all the musicians recorded to, I just exported the MIDI file from Sibelius and then I'm gonna stick that into Logic. Once you set the metronome to your desired tempo, just listen back Make sure you can hear all the MIDI sounds and the metronome and then you can bounce the track to send to your musicians. This is what my one sounds like. On screen now are the instructions I sent out to my quintet. These basically tell the player how to record to the click track, how to position their camera, and also to record in a dry room. Once everyone has recorded their videos, they send them to me via WeTransfer, and then I rename them to suitable file names for editing later. Now I'm going to drag the videos into my Logic project and then manually sync them by lining them up next to the MIDI files on Logic. Once you've manually synced all the audios from the videos up on Logic, you're going to bounce all the audios individually by soloing each track. You'll use these later on in your video editing software to help sync up the videos together. Now it's time to do a bit of audio editing on Logic, just adding in some automation for the volume and a bit of reverb to make it sound less dead. Now the audio editing is basically done, you can open up your video editing software. I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm going to go ahead and create a new project and then sort all of my video files and audio files that we bounced earlier into bins on the project just so it's a bit more organised. Using Premiere Pro's Multicam Sync feature, I'm going to sync up all the videos individually and then I'm going to line up the green audio files which you can see in the right. These are the files we bounced earlier from Logic and this is how we're going to line up all the videos perfectly. Once you've done this, solo all of the green audio tracks and just listen back and make sure everything sounds as it should. Now I'm going to double click on each individual video and then crop and resize them. This does take a bit of time and it's quite fiddly, but once it's done you don't need to do any more on the video editing side of things. Now you've chosen the positions for your videos, I like to go back into Logic to add in some panning which will mirror the positions of the videos to create an immersive effect for the listener. For example, our flautist Hannah is on the right hand side of the screen so I will pan her audio to the right. Now the final mix is finished from Logic, we can put that into our Premiere Pro project and then solo that track so that's the only thing that you'll hear. This video is a little thank you from the Albert Quintet to the NHS for all of their hard work. So I'm going to add in a few extra visuals, including a rainbow coloured background and a thank you NHS sign. Now the video is basically finished, I'm just going to do a bit of cleaning up by cutting the beginnings and ends of the videos just to make it a bit cleaner. Now the video is done, you can go ahead and export it and there you are, your finished virtual ensemble. Thanks very much for watching, if you have any questions then don't hesitate to get in touch. Thank you and stay safe.